who doesn't know the feeling of getting a new plant? You want to make it feel nice and cozy, so you just give it a bit of water every day. But after a while, your plant starts to get some brown leaves and it will start to look like this. Hey there and welcome to Plants vs Germans. In today's video I'll show you how you can save your plants from overwatering so they won't get root rot. I'll also give you some tips on containers, drainage and watering correctly. With this none of your plants will have to drown again. So first off, why is overwatering a bad thing? Because your plants definitely need water to survive. When you overwater, you water your plants too much. That means the soil is moist and can't get rid of the moisture quick enough. The problem is that the roots don't need that much moisture. If they don't dry off at least a little bit, they kind of drown. But what really happens is that they get root rot. I actually overwatered this plant here. It's a monkey puzzle tree, and I'll show you in a sec what root rot looks like. Here I got this monkey puzzle tree out of its container, and the soil is still moist, and I haven't watered in quite a while, which is a bad sign. You can also see the roots here, and some of them actually look nice. They have like a white tip but some of them are brown and the brown roots won't grow anymore they're dead this is called root rot when the roots die the plant can't take in any nutrients anymore and can't take in any water anymore and subsequently will die unfortunately if you've been watering your plants and you see some black tips on the leaves or the leaves turn brown you normally water again because you think this plant must need some water but that's when the danger happens the plants will get root rot and they'll die off because you are giving them way too much water so let's talk about when this has happened what you have to do to save your plant the most important thing now is to get your plant out of the moist soil so you just take your plant out of your pot and start getting off all the soil. You really have to be careful when you do this step, especially when you have young and small plants because the roots are quite small and thin and you don't want to rip off all the good roots that are still left. Once you've gotten your plant out of the wet soil, you should check your roots. If you can identify any roots, that are not as firm as the others, that look like they have been rotting already, you should definitely clip them off. Right now, I'm a bit lucky. I don't particularly see any roots that look like they've completely died off. The plant, or the roots, actually look quite nice. So now I've gotten the plant out of the soil, and now I want to repot it. It is very important to use new soil. Don't put it back into the old one. Use new soil and see if it is actually dry enough. It shouldn't be too dry. It shouldn't be bone dry. It should still have a bit of moisture, but not a lot. And now you repot this plant in the new soil. If you don't see any diseases on your pot, you can still use your old pot, which is fine. So take the old soil, put some in and start repotting your plant. Now repotting your plants isn't an optional step. You have to do that. If you don't do that, your plant will probably die as long as the soil it is in right now doesn't really dry up fast enough. So now that we saved our plant, it's, well, it's not technically saved yet, it can still happen that your plant dies if the root rot was already too bad. If a lot of the roots died, it won't survive. But I think this one will make it and I hope your plants will make it too. 
So now let's talk about what you can do to prevent overwatering. So my first tip is using pots with drainage holes. With this, when you water your plant, the water will just flow through, as you can see here. So all the excess water just goes away and you won't have too much moisture in your pot. If you use a covered pot like this, your water has no chance of escaping. If you have a larger pod like this with some drainage holes and you want to be extra sure, you can also take some debris or just some stones and fill them in. With this, obviously you need a bit more, you'll have an extra drainage layer in your pot. So even if you put it into a cover pod like this, your roots won't reach all the way down. So even if you have some water in it, the roots won't reach the excess water that's in your cover pot. So if you want to use a cover pot, I'll definitely recommend putting some debris or just some small stones into your pot so the roots won't reach all the way down to the water that is in here. And if you use it, you have too much water in it, just check every time you water. After you watered, wait a half an hour, hour, and just take the cover pot and empty the water out. The easiest way to prevent overwatering and root rot is watering moderately. I would recommend to get a box like this or just a tray like here and fill it with water. Now you just put your plants into the tray. I'll just use this one. It needs a bit of water. Put it in here and just let it soak in the water. You can always refill the tray here with when the water is getting low and it will soak up the water. It, it will take some time. It's not a super fast method. It's not as fast as watering it from up above, but you won't water too much. So it will soak up all the water it needs and then the soil is going to be nice and moist and then you just take it out and you probably won't have to water for another week or two, especially during the colder months now. You won't have to water as often. So I recommend watering with a tray like this and not watering from above and keeping the plants in the tray for, it will probably take like 12 to 24 hours until it's soaked completely. Like this plant, I put it in, I think yesterday and I can still feel it's quite light, the pot, so it hasn't really soaked in a lot of water because the soil was quite dry. But i rather keep my plants a bit more on the drier side than overwatering because the overwatering just kills them way quicker than not having water for one or, yeah, for a day or two. So just water moderately. Water with a tray like this, keep your plants inside here and you probably won't have any problems anymore. And then to see if the plant actually needs water or not, you just do the same thing I just did and lift up the pot and you definitely feel the difference. If it's light, it doesn't have any moisture in it, then you just put it into the water bed. And if it's quite heavy, like this should be, it is quite heavy. This one is probably heavier than this right now. It's fine, it doesn't need any water anymore. You just take it out and leave it out and it probably will be fine for, like I said, one or two weeks. So I hope these tips and tricks help you and you'll never have to see one of your plants die because of overwatering and root rot. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe and see you next time.